And this episode is sponsored by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. One of the things I enjoy the most about Squarespace is their mailing list. You can get the right message to the right people, collect email addresses through your website, and send subscribers the information they care about most with unique mailing lists. They also have fantastic blogging tools. The Squarespace blogging platform supports a configurable sharing button, letting your visitors share content to Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Plus, LinkedIn, StumbleUpon, Reddit, Pinterest, and Tumblr. And one of the most important things about running an online business is your SEO. Squarespace takes the guesswork out of search engine optimization for your website, which means you'll get found in search by more people more often. So head on over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash make it happen and save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash make it happen. What's up guys, welcome back. It's Super Bowl Sunday and I'm gonna sneak in one more appetizer recipe. These delicious peach barbecue chicken wings have quickly become one of my favorites, but before we get into that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right guys, meet me in the kitchen, let's make it happen. First things first, let's talk about saving a couple dollars at the grocery store. We know chicken wings are overpriced right now, but if you buy them whole and buy them in bulk, they are a little bit cheaper per pound and they're super easy to prep at home. All you need is a nice Nice sharp knife and find the joint between the flat and the wing tip. You find that joint, you separate it, and then you do the same thing between the flat and the drum. Super easy, guys, and you get to save those wing tips to make a delicious chicken stock. If you check out my chicken noodle soup video, you'll see my recipe for chicken stock. We're gonna throw these in a plastic Ziploc bag or a freezer bag and pop those in the freezer until it's time to make some chicken stock. I'll do an entire recipe on just stocks here soon. I know I keep saying that, but I did do it on the chicken noodle soup video, so check that out if you're interested. Also, guys, it's really important to rinse off your chicken anytime you do some butchering like we just did where we separated the drums and the flats. There is some cartilage and bone fragments that could be left behind, and we don't want to damage our teeth, so make sure you clean those off. Once they're nice and clean, we're going to dry them thoroughly with a paper towel, and then we're going to season them up with my all-purpose seasoning and my hot all-purpose seasoning. If you don't have these, guys, please feel free to use whatever seasoning you like on your chicken wings. These are low sodium seasonings though, so if you see me going a little heavy handed, there's not a lot of salt in here, so don't freak out in the comments. Next up is the smoked paprika. That's gonna add some wonderful flavor to these chicken wings along with the ancho chili powder. You can use regular chili powder if you can't find this. Just get in there with your hands and make sure you work in all the seasoning. You wanna make sure that it's evenly coated and well distributed throughout the chicken. We wanna season the chicken first and then we're gonna add about a tablespoon or two of cornstarch. We're doing these chicken wings in the oven today and that's why we're using the cornstarch to help them stay nice and crispy. I like doing these in the oven for a Super Bowl party because you can make a whole bunch all at once and you keep that fryer free for your other appetizers. So once you add that cornstarch, get in there with your hands and toss them around to ensure all the wings are evenly coated in that cornstarch. It's gonna make a layer on top of the seasoned chicken. That's gonna ensure the chicken wings are extra crispy and packed with flavor. Next up, we're gonna break out an aluminum foil line baking sheet with a wire rack on top. I like this method because the wire rack ensures that air can circulate around the chicken and make sure they stay nice and crispy. I like to spray it down with a little vegetable oil to ensure the chicken skin doesn't stick to the wire rack. Just make sure you give the chicken a little bit of space so they can breathe around each other. We're going to pop that in a 425 degree oven and flip them every 15 minutes. While that's in the oven, it's time to get started on our sauce. In a skillet over medium heat, we're going to melt two tablespoons of butter. To that, we're going to add one cup of ketchup followed by one fourth cup of molasses. That's that jar in the back of your pantry with the yellow top that's been back there for like four or five years so make sure you check the date you want to make sure you give that a good mix to combine and then we're going in with one third cup of apple cider vinegar quick reminder guys that all the specific measurements and ingredients are provided for you in the description box below so don't forget to check that out next we're adding one tablespoon of sriracha just to balance out some of the sweetness followed by one shot of peach crown royal this is optional but you guys know me i'm going to take me a shot too cheers my friends hope your team wins in the super bowl Next, we're going to break out the whisk and mix to combine. We're bringing this up to a simmer to cook off the alcohol, leaving behind all that flavor from the peach whiskey. Once we got it right where we want it, we're going to go in with one fourth cup of peach preserves. This is really the star of the show and takes this sauce over the top. You can find it at most grocery stores next to the jelly. Next, we're going to round out the flavor profile by adding a little liquid smoke and some low sodium soy sauce. If you guys have never made your own barbecue sauce from scratch, this is a fantastic base recipe that you can use. Next, we're going to add a little smoked paprika and some ancho chili powder, similar seasonings to what we used on the chicken, of course. We want to mix that in, add a little salt and pepper or my all-purpose seasoning, whatever you want to add. Make sure you taste as you go and adjust the flavor to your preference. You can make this sweeter by adding a little honey or sugar if you want to. 
You can add a little spice by adding more sriracha, maybe some red chili flakes. You can jazz this up however you want to, guys. This is how our wings are looking after about 15 minutes. I like to flip the chicken wings every 15 minutes in the oven at 425 degrees for about 45 minutes total. This is gonna make sure that they're cooking evenly and getting nice and crispy on all sides. Once you flip them, pop them back into the oven. And again, you wanna flip them every 15 minutes. You can cook a whole lot of chicken wings this way, guys. You can get a really big wire rack or you can get two of these and double up the recipe if you're feeding a crowd. But this is one of the fastest ways to cook chicken. I know it's a 45 minute cook time, which is longer than frying, but think about how many chicken wings you can actually fit in that fryer as opposed to the oven. And now my friends, I'm gonna show you how to make this delicious homemade ranch dressing. Break out a mixing bowl. Into that mixing bowl, we're going in with one cup of good quality mayo. You guys know my favorite mayonnaise is Duke's, but use whatever you like. Next, we're going in with one half cup of sour cream. As always guys, all the specific measurements and ingredients are included in the description box below, so don't forget to check that out. Mix together the mayo and the sour cream. I'm going in with about a teaspoon or so of fresh lemon juice just to brighten things up a bit. Give that a mix as well. And then we're gonna add all of those fresh herbs that we diced up earlier. We got some fresh parsley, dill, and chives. Give those herbs a mix. You can use dried if you need to, but I prefer fresh for mine. We're gonna season it with a little all-purpose seasoning or just throw a little salt and pepper in there. Now, if you were to taste it right now, it wouldn't taste quite like ranch. And there's one key ingredient that we're missing right now. We're gonna add one fourth cup of buttermilk. That's gonna give it the nice tang that you're used to with ranch dressing. And it's gonna thin it out a little bit and give us a better consistency. So at the very end, mix in that one fourth cup of buttermilk and you have yourselves a delicious ranch dressing that you can put in a mason jar and keep in the fridge for a little while. Break it out for your chicken wings or your salads. Speaking of chicken wings, look at these beauties that we got going on in the oven. Nice and crispy, golden brown, looking delicious. That's how the wings are looking when they're done. We're going to add those wings to a mixing bowl, add the sauce, give them a toss. That sauce is looking absolutely beautiful as well, just coating those wings nicely. Your guests will never believe that you made these in the oven. And remember, guys, you got other recipes of mine that you got to use the fryer for, like the salmon bites, the crab bites, egg rolls. You name it, we got it on the channel for you. Let me know in the comments what recipes you're planning to make for the soup. Super Bowl and brace yourself for a trademark money shot. Say it with me, guys. Looking good. Going in for the taste test. You guys know I'm a drum guy over the flats. Let me know what you like in the comments. Man, those wings look good. I'm an equal opportunity wing eater. All of these are going to get polished off. Going into that homemade ranch dressing. Now for the moment of truth. I think we all know how these turned out. Let me know what you think in the comments. Give your boy a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell to enable notifications. And as always, thank you for your support.